No, that's good. Okay. We're doing, I'll get to it in a second. We're yeah. just going. Yeah. We're running it. We're running it for this side. I'm probably going to have to call it after this set, too, so I can go check on... Uh, yeah, I, I might also have to hop off the mics, uh, for being real. Got to check on uh, my tournament that I'm still too running. <laughs> yeah, the tournament that you're running right now, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I mean, it's not starting till 4, but uh, I know a lot of people are starting to get here, so got to make sure setup's actually pretty good. Oh, but it's 3.30. Would you look at that? Yeah, time's going by fast. Yeah, I mean, what a day, honestly. Okay, all right. Still Still so just, much more just, day. Just, just what I suspected we'd probably be seeing. A battle of the neutral. Honestly, it's been so long since I've had such like an up close and personal here of how Mithra's sword sounds. It's just like the boom lightsabers. Boom, boom, yum, yum. Yeah, exactly. Lightning Buster, pretty good move. Yep. Really, really, really safe, you know? Oh my god. He just got hit by the very tippy top of that move. Okay, and now. Oh my gosh, really good, good. tech being aware yeah. of that hitbox. Yeah, Pre more prepared for that than I think most would be. Oh, when you're playing a character whose recovery doesn't really snap to ledge that well that often, or like it's two frame relatively easily at a distance, you know, you gotta be ready for everything. Yeah. Catch the jump, we're gonna see. Oh, oh, double bear! Yeah. I, I think if he if he goes for another up air, like the um, the pressure ends, you know, like or like you have to like basically get another read yeah. to carry it on. But like you do the back air, you're gonna mix up your opponent, you're gonna trick them up because they're used to just another up air, and that's how he's able to just squeeze out a little bit more damage. There's tackle on some really good percent there. Just dash attacks right on over. Ooh, yeah. Oh, I don't know that. Uh, oh, the jump getting called out, but Zai not quite right on the space in there. Yeah. That could have spelled the yeah. end of player versus stock. Just, uh, times the neutral up to not get hit by the explosive flame. That is a really long lasting move, so it could be a bit of a trouble. Yeah. It's so good that, like, blazing in makes it so you can't do any moves. Oh, pump drift in. Yeah. yeah. Players didn't really have too many options there, though, unfortunately. Yeah. I mean, that is kind of like the one thing that keeps you just in check, you know? Like, they they are a little bit vulnerable off stage. Because otherwise, oh my gosh, super fast normals, basic speed on ground, pretty yeah. good killing power. Yeah, it's just, um, like... This is smart side B. Early side B, knowing I was going to go for the two frame with the down tilt. Yeah, no. Especially that's the first time I think he's picked that option. Uh, Zai wasn't necessarily ready to, to just have like the counter like on the top of the stack mentally. Ooh, but jab pitch at the spot dodge because you can just uh, do multiple jabs. If the one jab isn't enough, jab two. Is that gonna kill? No. no. Like, there's no way, right? But yeah, I think they changed the. Oh. Okay, well, sort of that. It sort of did kill in a roundabout way. Yeah, not not exactly the move itself that killed, but the situation it put Leo Ayers in. Yeah, because he already jumped, and like maybe if he directional air, no, maybe if he directional air earlier, but then it's like, like he, he that's really telegraphed. He, he, he was. Yeah. It's it's tough because like you, you could side B there in that position, but then you probably side B into the explosive flame. You get hit, you die. You yeah. side B early, you die for sure. Yeah, you know, um, he, he's just. He was kind of, he was kind of stuck. Yeah. Uh, sometimes that's just how it is, you know? Unfortunate. Poor yep. Leo Harris there. Yep. And so now, go to game two. Stop the battle. Uh, I, mean, I, don't really, I don't really know what things I would, I would like say. It's like, oh, you know, these are things you need to work on. Like sort of, or like what, what, are, what are the adaptations you want to be making? But like, Honestly, I think a lot of the neutral exchanges were going pretty well for Leo Aris. Yeah. Like, when he was getting in, like, he was getting his damage, and they were kind of going back and forth in neutral. 
but it's just Zai has been getting so much more off of his punishes and has been able to close out these stocks pretty easily. Yeah. Whereas, you know, on, on the other hand, Laris has been having a little bit of trouble finding that closer, sometimes yeah. even finding that starter. Um, yeah. But is perfectly able to find these stray hits here and there by you know, ducking and weaving under all Zai's moves with the speed that is never ending. Ooh, all right. Uh, Zai drifts out pretty smartly. Otherwise, he would have got caught by the nastiest fire down there. I think Zai was trying to parry that last hit, unfortunately, a little too early on it. Yeah, I mean, it's just like a... Like, the timing for that is just a little bit awkward, because, you know, it's like there's... They charge it, uh, there can be like a fifth hit, they charge it all the way, it's this, uh, very... Why do they think that was a smart idea? Though? That's, uh, I, I, uh, personally, I, I don't think it was a very smart idea. Alrighty. Yeah, like, uh, Larius is doing a really good job in the mid-range, playing around Zai, being a little too shield-heavy there, resulting in a grab, but... Like they're sniping out that Zai was expecting a defensive option from Leo Aris, and, and he just went in aggressive. Yeah, but then you get catch yourself off stage, and like you kind of just have to hold in because if you don't, you're gonna die. Yeah, there goes that parry that time. Zai not messing up the timing there. Owen oh, catching the jump with the up air too. Yeah, now Zai going a little bit insane. Okay, all right, here versus uh, here here versus auto medical. Trying to be a little silly. Yeah, Blairis is getting a little jump heavy now. No jump on deck. Zai's just been responding to every single jump Leo has had in these last couple of uh, conversions. Yeah. Oh, but catching the two, or not the two frame, but like the ledge hang, the yeah. ledge hang uh, down tilt. Power ledge hang not really able to get hit by a lot of things. So honestly, kind of surprised that ended up working. Yeah. Uh, well, I guess that, that's just the power of 599. Yep. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. One privilege to another. Exactly. Alrighty. Alrighty, does the drag down there get to grab? Okay. Good responses here. But yeah, going a little too aggressive. Tried to read a little too far into it too early. Yeah. Zai completely scouting that out. You know, just, just has the time to wait. It's yeah. good. It's good move. It's really big. Yeah. Yeah. Leo's doing a really good job here, though. All right, here comes jab, jab lock. Oh, okay. Just pushes him off the stage. I, I think I, I think he was trying to do something very cheesy. Yep. Most definitely. All righty. Drag down oh, up here, not a real. Over. Not real, but catching the jump again. Yeah, kind of kind of really more of like a, a pressure tool than any sort of combo option like a lot of characters have from their drag down moves. Ooh, all right. You know, kind of just playing like all Pyra for a long time. Just swapping kind of a little bit outside of like uh, the burst range. Oh my gosh. Zai was trying to... Okay, all right. Oh, no F smash. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, we got two players making a bunch of decisions. Oh, with the last hit, just barely catching Leo. He's in the end lag of the F tilt. That's no jump not going to kill. <gasps> it that was timing, just the perfect time. insane, but catching the roll. Okay, back to the back to go. And it's going to do it. Good stuff to Zai. Honestly, Leo needs to just shake that off because honestly, he's doing a really good job. Just Zai towards the end started to adjust to some of those jumping habits that Leo was having. Yeah. So jumping a little bit less and, and you know not picking as many defensive options in uh, the neutral position. Um, because a lot of times he was just getting punished for running up and shielding and Zai you know, just grabbing, just a able to react to that quickly. But like as long as Leo is able to like shake that off and like just work on the punish game a little bit his neutral game is really good like he was doing a really good job of just being able to keep up with Zai there and you know it led to you know the set being a little bit closer than some would see at least on paper um yeah. and it, it was still pretty confident taken for Zai but like you could see the the gears turning in Leo's mind yeah uh, I think I'm gonna call it there so I can go make sure that my bracket is